Hi guys, welcome back and welcome back to you. My name is Barbara, I am a vintage second-hand handbag collector. So if you like this kind of content, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video, especially that in 2023 I am uploading two videos per week and yes, I will make it happen. Guys, um, today I have a little unboxing. It's been since, what, August? I didn't unbox anything. This is the latest bag I have received. Um, it was on my wish list. It's a bag I wanted for a while. I mean, the color. And let me show you the bag. And then we have a little chit chat around it because I think I need your help. Because even if it's been 10 years, 10 years, I've been shopping, collecting bags, like vintage secondhand bags, I still do a lot of mistakes. And I think the mistake number one that I do is the FOMO, fear of missing out. When I see a listing, I get super stressed and I don't read the infos and when I receive the item, I'm like, oh my God, I was not expecting this. So let me show you what I did. So here's the bag. Um, well, the bag didn't came with this little box, but I always like, you know, to put it inside so we have a kind of unboxing feeling. Uh, alors, I'm gonna show you and then we will have a little chit chat around it and I will need your help. And it didn't came with the dust bag, neither. Um, alors, the bright side. Let me show you guys. Ta -da -ta -ta. Oh my God, I see the color on the camera and it's popping like a lollipop. I love it. Alors, <laughs> so as you can see, this is a super nice orange uh, Chanel bag. Um, it's, it's not a classic flap. When we look at it, we don't see, uh, we cannot really, you know, know <laughs> the bag is quite special. So let me open it. Let's have a little tour. Maybe when you will see inside, you will understand why this um, bag is special. So I do have, um, I mean, the bag came with the um, sticker. Can I take it? Yeah, a little bit. So I have it here. Um, but I don't have the authenticity card. What makes uh, this bag so special? Well, if you look at the back, there's a little zip. Oh, is this a zip pocket? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, but inside you have a cover. Can we say, can we call like this? Okay, it's a little bit messy. I will try, you know, to do it with you because it's not really complicated. It's like a little cover. I was going to say something more nasty, but we are on YouTube and it's, uh, I mean, I cannot say, I cannot say nasty things. Um, sorry, let me show you. Okay, um, how? Those okay, so here I have a little hole. Uh, sorry, so I put the chain through it. No, it's not okay. No, I'm not right. Ay, ay, ay. So here I have a big hole where I can put the chain through. And then, okay, this is for, oh la 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 la, mon dieu, it's, okay, you can see it's just my second time trying to put this condom, I said it, on this bag, okay, 
Alors, ok. So, here I have a little hole for the turn off. And then you just have, you know, to put its little coat. <sighs> My gosh. And now I have um, Chanel ready for the rain <laughs> handbag. So this bag is from the collection um, Chanel Cruise 2016. Uh, and uh, this cruise was in Korea and this is the Chanel Coco Rain handbag super cool right uh, I really like this thing I just need you know to know how to put it properly but it's super cool and for this collection they did a tweed bag exactly like this so this is like a tweed print um, nylon um, cover um, and I think this bag is supposed to be a bag you can wear um, when it's raining so I don't know you go out in the morning and it starts raining in the afternoon whoops so you can just you know put the little cover and yeah and use it um, and it's super well made because um, you can, you know, you can have access to your bag and it's not like, you know, it doesn't take any extra space and, um, and yeah, I think it's super cool. And for me, it's like a two in one um, handbag kind of, ba um, kind of vibe. So that's why I loved it. And as you can see, the, tr the chain strap is quite long, so you can easily wear it um, crossbody too. So that's cool. So before we go to the, um, what makes me feel a little bit sad about um, the bag, um, so, why did I buy it? Well, I've, I've said it before, we don't need a reason to buy a Chanel bag, I think. Um, the thing is, I really wanted, okay, let's say buy, you know, to the second personality of the bag. This is how it looks at the top. It's really, really well made. It's really, really well made. And uh, yeah, it gives me, it's, for me, it's really like having a second handbag and, and you can even like wear it, even if it's not raining because it's super cool. And we know that Chanel makes a lot of fun bags with PVC, nylon, etc. So this could be, you know, the bag and not just a cover. Now coming back, I will, you know, fold it and then explain a few things to you. So first of all, why I bought this bag? I loved, I am, I mean, if you follow me for a while, you know that I have a lot of bags. Um, I know that I don't often all my bags here. It will come um, through this year, but I do have a lot of bags. I do have a lot of vintage and uh, pre-loved second-hand uh, um, Chanel bags. And now, I, in my collection, in my opinion, I just need a few more colors, like uh, yellow, yellow, uh, purple, um, a bright pink, like a Barbie pink, fuchsia pink. Um, what else? Maybe a blue, maybe like, you know, my background, but not specially because I have one in nylon. But yeah, I think there is just a few pieces. I'm missing just a little few pieces to complete. Um, oh, the chain is not okay i just saw something on the chain super um so yeah i just have the feeling i need a, a few more bags to complete and maybe have like a bag piece um in my mind in my 
in my closets. And yes, I really wanted a orange one because I, I think it's a color that you can wear in summer, um, winter, springer, spring, um, autumn, etc. And I was really looking for an orange bag. I had one in the past. It was in, uh, in patent leather and I sold it because I am not a patent leather kind of girl, even if sometimes I find myself looking for patent leather bags. Um, but I really wanted, you know, an orange one in leather. And I checked on eBay, I only found uh, patent leather ones, or when I found in lambskin, it was super expensive. So I was, you know, spending a lot of time trying to find one. And just after Christmas, I was on eBay and then boom, I was scrolling. I almost bought a pink one and something was like, no, don't buy the pink one. A pink one is easier to find. Keep your money, wait, something will appear. And my energy was right because this one popped up on, on eBay for $1,500, which I think it's super fair because again, when you check for orange bags, it's super rare and it's always around four to 5,000 in the pre-loved market. So it's a lot of money. And I didn't want to spend this kind of, you know, for an orange bag that I will wear maybe twice or three times a year. Per year. And uh, this one appeared and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, FOMO, FOMO, FOMO. I, okay, let me take my um, phone. So I checked, I will, I will insert all the pictures, it's gonna be easier. I checked the pictures, I saw that the back was a little bit darker. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, the the back is a little bit darker and I was like, you know what? It's okay because it's lambskin and I can clean it. And if, if it doesn't like, if it's still dark, I can send it to a spa and, you know, paint it or something. So it's okay. I will be able to repair. The second thing I wasn't a big fan of, about it. It was, you know, this, can you see? the fact that the flap is wider. No, I mean, the bag is wider than the flap. And uh, I think it's because you have the cover, so you have, you know, to cover it. So it has to be a little bit bigger. I checked um, a few pictures on, on Google and all the bags, uh, all the bags from this collection, like, you know, the Coco Rain, they all have this, you know, this, yeah, this extra space here that I'm not a super big fan. But I was like, you know, again, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's not like, uh, you know, like uh, something that it, it was not like this, you know, when it came from the store, blah, blah, blah. So I can accept it. So I, I was like, okay, you know what? It's so range. Uh, the price is super, super sexy. Don't think twice, just check put it on your car and, and check out. I decided to buy this bag in five minutes. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I checked, I tried to find a few pictures. And when I was on Google, I was a little bit scared, you know, to someone just buy it before me. Um, the seller um, shipped the bag a few days uh, after and I was like, okay, I will receive it. So that's cool. And when I received the bag and I opened it, I was like, uh, there is a problem. <laughs> there is a big problem with this bag. So this part, as you can see, it's lambskin leather, but the bag itself, it's not leather. The bag is rubber. So it's a plastic, it's a plastic bag. It's not, it's, it's not lambskin. It's, it's plastic. And I was like, I was waiting for a lambskin bag. So I went, you know, to check the listing and it was written like super big rubber, 
rubber. I was so excited about the color, about the bag, about the fact that it was a um, two-in-one bag, about the price, etc. I didn't read the description and it was written in super big rubber Chanel bag. And the second surprise was this. I think you could see. Hold on. Yeah. Um, there is, yeah, there is a little stain here at the front. Voila. Now you can see it. There is this stain in the front. It was not, I could not see it in the pictures because the lighting was super strong and it was not mentioned either. So I tried to clean the bag a little bit, you know, um, it came out super dirty, so it was cool, but it's still a little bit dark. And I tried to, you know, to clean in the front, but I think this is a kind of color transfer. I will not be able to get rid of it. And as the bag is a rubber, I don't think I can send it, you know, to paint, to color, to repair it in a like leather shop because it's plastic. So I, I don't know. So <laughs> voila, my problem. I. <laughs> I am a little bit disappointed. I received this bag about a week ago. Um, and I know that I always have to wait a few days before I get in, I fall in love with a bag. Um, it takes me a few weeks, month sometimes. And I don't know, I don't know if I, if I keep it, if I sell it, um, if I wait, uh, what I should do. I love the fact that it's a two-in-one. I love the fact that I can wear it crossbody and on the shoulder. Um, but yeah, the th I think yeah, the fact that it's rubber, it's not a big deal because I like plastic bags. I just think that the thing that annoys me the most is this stain here. Um, we don't really see it when you look from far away and uh, yeah stains and damage can happen to a bag we all we all know that um, I don't really like like pristine bags because I like to wear and enjoy my bags but I don't know I just have a mixed feeling about this one I don't know guys what should I do should I wait? Should I keep it? I'm still looking for an orange bag, like not li like before, because I think I found the one I wanted. But yeah, I think I really wished this one was in a leather. I really wanted it to be in leather. And, and yeah, the cover is super cool, but I mean, it's rubber. So if it's raining, I don't need to put the cover. It's just an extra accessory that it's cool. And yeah, it gives me the, the feeling to have two bags, but yeah, I don't know. I wish it was, you know, like this, this beautiful lambskin orange color. Guys, I need your help. What should I do? Should I keep it? Should I? I'm not going to return because I paid the taxes. Um, so the, the price plus taxes, I think it's around 1650 so I don't know what to do. Still love the color when I see it and maybe I should wear it, give it a try, you and me, you and me together. I don't know, guys, help me, let me know what I should do with this tangerine um, little thing. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think about it. I still beat myself a bit up um, because I have, you know, I always do this kind of mistake when I'm stressed, when I see something I really want and then I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's a hush, it's a hush, it's a hush, take my credit card, pay, yeah, bye. And then I'm like, oh my god, I should have checked, I should have read, I should have this, I should have that. And uh, it's it's really, really, really annoying. Please let me know what you guys think about it, what I should do. Would you keep it? Would you, you know, return it? I mean, resell it? Yeah, help someone. Help me.
please. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Je vous fais des gros bisous. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I see you in my next video. Bye.